Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in LA. We are. About to do our first Best of LA Eats. Yes, now these are highly rated. That's eats. right, highly rated. Right. Highly rated, and we gotta try them out. You know we do. Yeah, now we have several classic LA Eats videos, but this is the best. Yes. Highly rated best. Yes. We are starting here with barbecue. Now we've been to a lot of barbecue places in Texas, in the barbecue belt of, of the South, East Coast, but yeah. never have we highlighted the best barbecue in California, yeah. specifically or even in LA. Los Angeles, right? Yeah. So where are we at now? We are at Bledsoe's. Yes, that's it right. It's off of La Brea, so it's close to Hollywood if you're visiting. Mm -hmm. And we're, can we recommend this place to come and visit for you guys? We don't know. We're going to go try it out. We're going to try it out. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. We just got seated outdoors. Beautiful day out. Check out their menu. You can see that they have some lunch menu, but you could get all of the meats on the side. And I think we're gonna make our own three or four meat uh, plate. Mm -hmm. And they have sandwiches and the sides. So yeah, this looks yeah. really good. We kind of have even, a game plan what to get. Even though the lunch trays are for four to six people, it's only the two of us. So yeah. we're, we're gonna really just kind of a la carte everything of it. And dessert, I see they have banana pudding right over here. Look at that peach, peach crisp. I don't know, maybe. Know. We may do a few. You know, we'll a, see. A banana pudding is like the benchmark of the barbecue desserts, yeah. right? So, might have to try that one. Bledsoe's, his first barbecue place was in Compton, and now he has this one here in La Brea. What, La, Greater Los Angeles area, baby? Yeah. Greater Los Angeles area. So, I can't wait. Oh, his roots. He, he had all of his summers in Texas, so he has that Texas flair to his barbecue. We've been to Texas. So we, we're waiting, we can't wait yeah, to Yeah, this is out. definitely Texas style barbecue. Yeah. Um, how's their ice, the sweet ice sweet tea. tea. They, have, they don't have unsweetened, they only have sweet tea. And it's a, it's a little bit on the unsweetened side. So it's not as sweet as the ones I get in Louisiana, but it's good. So we put our own little plate together. We got a fourth of all of the different proteins they have. So we have the dark meat chicken, smoked chicken, their pulled pork, mm -hmm. their pork ribs, which is like, like two or three bones, three bones for us, and their brisket. They have a brisket and a lean brisket. We made sure the brisket was the fatty brisket, and that's what we got here. And then we got a bunch of sides. We got one piece of cornbread, which is perfect to share, the mac and cheese, the beans, which <laughs> contains brisket in it, and the collard greens. You know I gotta get me some collard greens, and that has pork in it. So, this looks delicious. I'm so ready to dig on in. And I'm gonna first try this chicken. This, we asked, they asked for light meat or dark meat. And of course we have the dark meat. Here, you can see that, look at that crust right there. That crust is just looking divine. Smoked really well. I'm just gonna go try this skin first. Great flavor, great spices in that smoked chicken. Let's try this meat out. Now you can see this meat is very moist. You can tell it's not dry at all. Try this out before any sauces. Very moist chicken. Love that flavor. Now they have a regular sauce and a spicy sauce. I tasted both of them. This one's very smoky, no heat. This one, great heat and flavors on that one, but I'm gonna do this one, my chicken with the regular. Mm. That regular, very nice and smoky. Slight sweetness to it, it has a good tangy flavor. This chicken is delicious for, you know, me and my smoked chicken. I love my Alabama white, but this one's fine the way it is. and. For this chicken, I would want the barbecue sauce, not even the Alabama white for it. I'm gonna try out this pulled pork without any sauce on it. Wow, that's delicious. It really tastes, it kind of tastes like chili. The seasonings they use for it. I expect those seasonings to be like chili. You can tell this meat, very good, very hearty. 
this doesn't need any sauce at all, but I'm gonna hit it up with some of the, the little bit more spicy one. A little bit sweet, a little bit spice. Wow. So far, this is pretty good barbecue. Here is the mac and cheese. This is a giant portion of the mac and cheese. Mm, nice and cheesy. Those noodles are per perfectly. You can see. I don't see any meat bits in it, but it has great, great cheese flavor. Um, that like baked flavor. So. That's a really good mac and cheese. And let me try out these collard greens. You know, me and my collard greens. It has that, I know it has that pork in there for those collard greens. Mmm. Those collard greens are on par. Great little, not par, great little like. A vinegar? Perfect like bitter to it. Not a strong bitter, but some the the what I expect in a collard green. Tons of meat in it as well. This is like a could be a meal because of all that meat in there. This is that one's a stunner. Pork rib, very meaty. Look at that. Look how much smoke. Not even a smoke ring. I would say a smoke throughout. Color to it. The flavoring on this outer crust. It's almost perfect. It has the right amount of seasoning, little salt and pepper flavor to it. Uh, the smokiness is unreal. It does go all the way through the meat, not just on the outer surfaces, but really penetrates the whole rib. My only complaint or squabble it, it is on the dry side. Might need some sauce for this, just to give it that little moisture back. But it is a little bit dry, but the flavor is very good. So there we go. Maybe try one in the middle. A little bit better, but it doesn't have that, that juiciness of a smoked rib. But again, the flavor, very nice and smoky. Fatty brisket. Let me manhandle this meat again. Sometimes you just gotta go with your, with your fingers, right? Nice bark again, just like the pork rib. Look at that. Meat, fat mixture, very good. I love how the meat just kind of separates like that. That's always a good indication that we have a good smoked brisket. I'm gonna go in without any sauce and see how it is. Now this is it right here. It has that perfect beef brisket flavor to it. I love that it has a little bit of chew on that beef. It just doesn't like melt away in your mouth. It actually has a great beef chew. And this is what I really like about it. How it has a combination of fat and that beef, that great tasting beef. Again, like the pork ribs, great seasoning of that salt and pepper on that outer crust, smoky flavor. I'm gonna try some of this house of barbecue with this brisket. Oh, look at that. Anybody wanna bite? Yeah. For the sauce lovers out there, like me, can't wait for this one. Now I have yet to try the smoked chicken and the pulled pork, but if you come here, do yourself a favor, get the fatty brisket and the original barbecue sauce. This is a match made in heaven. So what I like about this cornbread is the butter, it comes out already melted and soft. So I'm gonna have a little bit of butter there. I'm gonna break off a piece of this cornbread. Great, cornbread flavor. Mm. It's, I thought it'd be a little bit more dry, but that's actually really good. It's not that dry at all. Now let me just go ahead and try these beans. Now these beans do have the brisket in it. You can see here. Oh yeah, very 
is some brisket right there. Let's try these beans out. Wow. These beans taste like a ranch style beans. Really nice, really hearty. Slightly, slightly sweetened, so it's not those sweet like baked beans that you would think that could. Lucille's has, I think it has the really sweet baked beans. This is delicious. I got to try the smoked chicken. Very moist. Highly recommend the smoked chicken. Now the pulled pork, the part where they shred it is very, very moist and tender. But I noticed some of the big chunks like this, it is a little bit tough. A little bit dried and tough. But as far as this stuff, where it's shredded, very moist. And it's seasoned so well that it doesn't really need any barbecue sauce. This piece looks just amazing. It doesn't look dry at all. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Not dry at all. The seasoning is kind of light though. So for this one, I'd probably need a little bit of sauce on it. It's a good hearty pork rib though. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe the rib that I had, it was maybe toward the ends a mm -hmm. little bit. And that was in the middle. This one's very juicy. Mm. Now I'm gonna try out the brisket. I'm gonna try this out. Now he recommends putting the sauce on. Dip this a little bit in that sauce. Mm. That's a great juicy brisket. The fattiness that's intermingled in the meat gives this brisket great taste. Even without the sauce, it has a good taste to it. We had to do it. Yeah. The Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Very classic looking with the vanilla wafers layered. I see some banana pieces in there. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excited for this one. Oh. First bite. You go ahead, babe. Mmm. Wow. That's, that first bite was like creamy heaven right there. The, this part is like, it tastes like really soft vanilla wafers inside, baby. Mm. That's why I think it kind of threw me off because I was gonna, expecting that little crunch of the vanilla wafer. Right. In the middle is really soft vanilla wafers. In this banana cream, I haven't got any actually, but, oh, the bananas are not sliced. They're almost like cut kind of finely. Small As pieces, you can see, I see. really in small pieces like this one mm -hmm. right here. Oh, yeah. Wow, and it's good. It's not extremely sweet at all, with, especially with all this cream. Try that out. That's a good banana pudding. Wow. That's a good one. Yeah. And this is reminds me of really good, like a like a tarim. Not that I've got the flavor. But the texture of it is like a really good tiramisu. Yeah, you can see that it's texture. not like really all cream. It has that, I guess that banana yellow brown tint to it. Yeah. But so the flavors throughout. The, yeah, and that flavor is very banana-y too. And you got the... Uh, the crunchiness of that vanilla wafer. Right. Mm -hmm. There's, yeah. yeah, that's some crispy. Wow, this is a really good banana pudding. I could just come back for the banana pudding, babe. Mm. Very good, very good. tasty. Let's go barbecue, what do you think, babe? It was good. Uh, I really like the chicken, which was really good. That we can agree that cornbread with that baked beans Outstanding. Was, is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I like the mac and cheese. I like the baked portion of that mac and cheese. Yeah, to me, the mac, the mac and cheese was a little bit on the mushier side. I like it when the noodles have, have more structure to them, mm -hmm. but the cheese flavor itself it was very good. And that, yeah. Me, the collard greens were very good. I like that big chunks of pork they had in those collard greens. Uh, I, I agree. Yeah. Very good collard greens good. over mm -hmm. here. Uh, for the meats, my favorite was the brisket. Yeah, I love yeah. chicken. I love the brisket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So off to our next place, baby. Yeah, well, in case you're wondering, yeah, we do have some leftovers. leftovers. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to highlight a couple more best LA eats yeah, here. Yeah, we are. We are. Look at my suntan. Oh, forgot to that. mention. What? Banana pudding was one oh, of the best we've had. It was one of the best that we've one had. One of the best, yes, yeah. Yes, and, and we've had it from all over the country, and this is one of the best ones we've had. It is, yeah. I highly recommend that yes. one. Okay, off and we now, go. My son, too. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, from my outing yesterday. Yeah, in case you're following along, that's from our Old Town San Diego trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We knew it was going to be sunny, but not that sunny. It's always so, sunny in California, babe. It is, babe. Where are we, babe? Oh, a couple miles away from Blesso. It's just right up the block. It's going to be Majdi's Malone. Majdi? Mash, Mashi's. Mash, I don't know how to pronounce it. Mashi's. Yes. Mashi's Malone's. They yeah. are known to have the best ice cream in Los Angeles. Yes, and some of the most exotic flavors, too. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've never been here before. Yeah. They have, a, it's like saffron, which is their highly recommended saffron. They have rose water, all different kinds of exotic ice creams. Did an American Airlines give some award to this place? Yeah, too? this American Airlines gave this the top five best ice cream in the world. In the world? In the world! And it's like in our, in our backyard and we didn't even know about it. So we, we did gotta, it. We gotta try it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Look at all the flavors they have here. They have the regular flavors, but then they have all these different ones too. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is the other section over here. been in the business for 40 years, uh, over 40 years. This is Persian ice cream. These are hand done actually here. I have the most popular, which is a saffron rose water, creamy rose water, Turkish coffee, and a Persian cucumber. This cucumber one, I can smell the cucumbers from it. And you can see little bits of cucumbers in it. Mm -hmm. That one looks really interesting. But this is the most popular, so we gotta try that one out. And Bill couldn't resist Who's a Bill? piece of baklava. Yes, a dollar fifty a piece, and they look amazing, right oh my there. Gosh. Saffron rose water. Look at that. Mm. How's that? Pistachios. You can taste that rose water in it. Rose water, this tastes kind of floral. If you're wondering what rose water tastes like, the saffron portion of this, let's see. Mm. It's good. It kind of, I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of a, like a, like a light tasting curry. More like an Indian curry. Very light tasting. Just to, Try to place what saffron tastes like. Well, it's kind of an exotic, expensive spice. It is, but if you're wondering what saffron tastes like, it, to me it tastes like kind of a light Indian curry. Mm, that was delicious. Now this is the rose water, creamy rose water. This one. very floral what's interesting if you smell a rose you can taste the rose so this one I can't smell the rose but you know that really good fragrant smell a rose has it they have it in this ice cream Wow this is interesting it's good nice and creamy I saw this Persian cucumber inside the uh, ice cream selection so I gotta try that out because I'm a fan of like uh, cucumber drinks and even the new uh, Gatorade that had this uh, lime and cucumber. So here we go. Smell it, baby. You can see it really smells like cucumber. Yeah, very much so. And like you mentioned, you see the little speckles of cucumber in here. Here we go. Very fine, almost fine, icy type of consistency to it. It has, as you can expect, a great cucumber flavor. Not overpowering and not subtle either. I would say like like a medium. It kind of hits you in a medium 
amount of cucumber flavor. Slightly sweet, like a typical ice cream kind of sweet. But yeah, it's all about that cucumber. Not mixed with anything else, like, like lime or any other type of fruit. Just cucumber straight up. How do you like it? I love it. It's very unique. First time ever that I tried a cucumber flavored ice cream. It's actually flavored with actual cucumber pieces. Yeah. If you're a fan of cucumber, yeah, you'll be definitely happy with this one. Turkish coffee. We we're a fan of coffee flavored ice creams. I always can't pass it up sometimes. But this is traditionally, just when we've seen in videos, Turkish coffee is usually on the strong side. Almost like, like having some espresso. So let's try this out. Just by running my fork, or fork, see how nervous I am? Mm -hmm. Running my spoon through this ice cream, you could just tell how creamy it is. Try this out. I was right, very creamy. Coffee flavor. Is there not extremely strong but has a very good essence of coffee now you know i never been to uh, turkey yet right babe no, to have their coffee yet. but i can just imagine uh, having some little turkish coffee with some cream in it maybe and just kind of chilling at one of their cafes this might be like a version of it yeah very good turkish coffee so here's the saffron ice cream. I know you had a little trouble mm. giving the description, so let me see. Let me see if I can help with that. Okay, babe. Okay, oh, oh, one more time. It's like I stepped into a, a bath full of rose petals, sets the mood all romantic, and then I take a sip of that water. Be before I got in, let's make that clear. Before I got in, I tasted some of that water. Floral, pistachios inside, which is really nice. I'm not getting too much Indian curry. Really? I'm not getting too much Indian, period. <laughs> a lot of floral. Really? Yeah. Floral for you? You don't taste the saffron? Like the curry portion? Uh, you know what? I myself don't exactly know what saffron tastes like. I think I had it in the dish before, but it was with a lot of other seasonings in it. So what sets the saffron apart from the other ones, I, I can't tell you. But the bottom line, is the ice cream good? Yes, very creamy. Very good. Would I order again? Probably not, because just drinking rose water is just not my thing. But if you're into it, try this one out. La. You like how I did that? Yeah. Baklava. I'm a fan of it. Wow. That's a big piece. And nah, it's sticky. No, nah, it, it doesn't look overly large in size, but it's got some weight. I bet you I could throw this sucker like at least <laughs> over 100 feet if I had to. <laughs> it's got some weight to it. Let's try it out. Look at all those layers. It's, it has that compressed. What, what are these? Like, like filo dough or something? Filo dough. Mm -hmm. Very compressed. Good bite to it. It's got that little almond kind of filling in there. I think it's pistachio. Yeah, pistachio on top. Nice honey uh, glaze or a drizz on it. It's good baklava. I mean, you know, for $1.50. Because it's, it's so dense, I think it's worth it. One piece, huh, babe? Yeah, just one piece. It'll satisfy your, your craving for vodka. Huh? I'll save your hat, babe. Oh, thank you, babe. All right. I love me some good baklava and pistachio. I taste like a little bit of ginger. Yes, mm. now that you mention it, yeah. There's a little bit of ginger in there, but not too really good. The honey. This one, it's a sweet dessert. It's a sweet dessert. Definitely you need to 
something like a, a Turkish coffee or something to really enjoy that dessert. But it is delicious. Wow. But one piece is, I mean, half a piece, definitely good enough for me. Great ice cream. That here. was very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They have lots of traditional flavors and all these exotic custom flavors. They here. do, they do. And the majority of their ice cream is gluten free and dairy free. That's right. So this is really good. Yeah, Especially they use. Have, a lot of people have like dairy. Right. They yeah. use as uh, what soy milk and uh, soy milk, almond milk. Almond milk. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. yeah, definitely, if you come over here and have those diet uh, dairy restrictions. Just ask them and they'll probably point out a whole bunch of flavors for yeah. you. And they have a, like a, the rose water can, there's ice. They have like the ones that are just ice mm -hmm. along with it. Yeah, they have a lot of different selections here. Right, so now if anyone asks us, have you been to some of the top Mossy's. ice creams in the world? We'll we say, have. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. Off to the one more adventure, right? One more. We have come to our third and final Best of LA. Yes, we are in Beverly Hills mm -hmm. and we're at Edelweiss Chocolates. Yes. Now this is well renowned. They're doing, I think this year is their 80th year. Wow. Family owned and operated, same family with the, over the 80 years. Yeah. Pretty cool. Didn't you mention a lot of celebrities come here? A lot here? of celebrities come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's right near the, the Beverly Hills side. So we're going to go walk to that side. Yeah, maybe do our chocolate review over there. Yeah. Let's Sounds go inside. Good. Love the orange peels. Really? Uh, and this chocolate. We've got the coconut toffee, one of the best. How much? How many pieces can we fit in like that? Chocolate for that. Okay, so. And then the plain dark marshmallow. What kind of goodies we got? Now, just the bag alone. I see it. There we go. Just the bag alone is fancy pants. It is fancy. It is. And it's almost like, all, a, you know, it's almost like going to an LV store and you get their bag. Right, right. So this is all hand done. This is their honeycomb and we got our own box made of chocolates. Now, the chocolates are the same price as if you went to a Godiva. Uh, so it's not very expensive at all. We made our own box of chocolates and it's around, uh, I think, 30 something dollars, maybe. I think 34, I think yeah, you said. Something like yeah, that. Plus, something like that. plus this. Right, so nice. it was a little higher than like a C's candy and right below maybe I could dive a chocolate candy and I, we are able to make our own box. So let's open this up. Now we picked their specialties and what they're famous for. We're big on dark chocolate so we have a lot of our uh, chocolates in here that are dark chocolate. And this is our hand done in house. I'll get ready for the angels. Yep. Insert the angels. Oh, oh my god. Almost gosh. dropped it. Okay. Angel singing. Wow, look at that. He really packed this box in for us. Again, it's yeah, all yeah, dark yeah. chocolate. Yeah. And we have to try one of them out. All of them, again, they make in house. They're known for their marshmallows because they make their marshmallows in house as well. So let's go see which one we select and we'll see which one we're going to try out. So we got the uh, brittle, was that the brittle, right? Yeah, this is a brittle that only comes in milk chocolate. And then we get a bunch of their dark chocolate assortment. Now this also comes in milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Of course we picked all dark chocolate. We're gonna try this one out because they're also known for their house made marshmallows. So we're gonna try one with the marshmallow and one with the nut. And their orange peel is really popular. That's interesting. Yeah. Go ahead, babe. Homemade That's marshmallow. Marshmallowy one. Ooh. There's caramel and marshmallow. Yes, caramel. Oh, wow. Marshmallow. Wow. Mm, that looks good. Now, wow. surprisingly, when you look at this, you think it's a sugar bomb. Yeah. Right? Because it's the marshmallow. Try it. Oh, wow. It's not sweet at all. It's not. It's very good. Yeah. What's interesting about the caramel, like, I love the. Marie Callender's, Cal or Marie Callender's, you know what I'm talking about. Let's well, chicken pot pie. Oh, see candy. I love the like, Scott tomato, you know, the caramel and their marshmallow. Mm -hmm. But this marshmallow, this um, caramel is very soft. Very soft, mm -hmm. the marshmallow, very fluffy. Mm -hmm. Not that sweet, That mm -hmm. that's what's surprising about it. And it's very it's light. really good. Very light. Mm -hmm. I'll try out this orange peel, baby. Orange peel. 
Oh, it cuts off really easy. Great orange flavor. I don't like chocolate with my fruit. The only one I can tell you tolerate is like strawberries. But that is really good. For some reason, I was thinking more of the raw peel. Mm -hmm. But it just has a nice essence of orange mm -hmm. with it. That's a good one. Yeah, very, wow. very good. And a nutty one. Yeah, of course, I'm a fan of like dark chocolate and almonds, right? Oh, yeah. How's that? Mm. Now, we're no wow. chocolate connoisseurs, mm -hmm. but we have had some good ones in Germany, mm -hmm. Belgium, Belgium, France, mm -hmm. yep. and now Beverly Hills. This is delicious. And Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. Those almonds are so crunchy and fresh. And I believe they make these like every day. So, wow. I, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would put Edelweiss right up there with the, right. with, with the best. That's excellent. Yeah. I'm so glad we stopped by here. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. And it's so, right next to the Hollywood, um, Hollywood. I keep on saying Hollywood. Yeah. Next to the Beverly Hills sign, maybe about a block away. If you're doing some sightseeing, come right over here on Canaan. Go try Edelweiss. You'll love it. Yes. And, you know, all the places that we've been to, is we always put the addresses in the video description below. Mm -hmm. So check it out. How'd you like the chocolate, babe? That was excellent. Oh, my gosh. I, I've lived in L.A. all my life. I've never come to this chocolate store. It's been here for like 80 years, and I've never been here. Oh, and also, um, for the local people in L.A., or if you visited L.A. and you've been to the best restaurant, in your opinion, or mm -hmm. dessert place, put in the comments below. Yeah, we've had a lot of them. Yes, because um, we read all of them and we just might try one of those out. Yeah, and thank you so much for everybody uh, tagging me, messaging me about Willie Mays opening up in Venice at the end of summer. I'm so, We're so looking forward to it. We know, you know we're going to be there. Oh yeah, we're going to see our comparison to the original. Oh yeah, we have to. And shout outs, babe. I do. Uh, Deborah, happy birthday. Uh, Jared, congratulations on graduating. And Tony and Hector from Australia, thank you so much for watching. Tony, um, his little baby Hector, his little doggie. Oh. They all watch us uh, they in all Australia. Watch us. Yes, Thank yes. you again so much for watching. Okay, well, that's going to wrap up our Best of LA uh, until our next one, yes. which is a big question mark right yeah, now. We don't know. This is our weekend, so we don't know where next weekend will take us, like well, the usual. Then we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, what is that supposed to be? It's art. Look it up. Okay. <laughs>